riding motorcycles, you want to be immersed of the surroundings. You don't want a lot of distractions. I wanted to find a bike that has the looks, the style, the functionality. The Indian Challenger is the best bagger made out of the box all day long. But then they came out with the Pursuit, which meets all the needs that I was looking for. The first time I saw the Pursuit, it does mirror the look of an Indian Challenger. So it did give a lot more appeal for the touring riders. And me being a distance rider on most of my rides, seeing something that already came kind of pre-built with everything that I would want to put onto a bike already, I was pretty excited about that. My name is Mari Jimenez. I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico, and the current bike I own is a 2021 vintage dark horse. My name is Enrique Oropesa, also known as Ricky. I'm from Austin, Texas, and I ride an Indian Scout bobber. My name is Michael Lazarus from Santa Barbara County, California, and I have an Indian Challenger. Name is Lenore Ferguson. I'm from Montgomery, Alabama, and I own an Indian Chieftain. My name is Amy McDonald. I am from Monticello, Minnesota, and I own a 2019 Indian Springfield Dark Horse. Um, I'm Laura Fiesler. I'm from Park City, Utah, and I have a 2019 Indian Scout. I'm Fred Fisher. I'm from Minnesota. I ride a 2020 Indian Challenger and a 2019 FTR. My name is Jeff. I am from Redlands, California, and I own an Indian Challenger, Indian Scout Bobber, and a 2020 Indian Chief. First off, it's a beautiful bike. And the second is how comfortable it is. We're going miles and miles, and you have no idea. The air blockage, but yet still manageable. The trunk, it looks a lot bigger, but it doesn't feel a lot bigger. Ride Command is a game changer because I could just put in nearest gas station, nearest hotel, nearest place to eat, and it would just immediately tell me all the places, and that was a plus for me. So you could customize the suspension, and this is one of my favorite things of the Pursuit, depending how much load you have, if you're riding with a passenger. Just the maneuverability around corners. Those twisties out here are like pretty tight, pretty fast, just grips to the road, and you can just cruise right through them. I totally admit that I really was intimidated. As soon as we started riding, they are amazing machines. They're so well balanced. But being able to change your suspension for if you have the trunk, a game changer. Just the way it handles going into each curve, you don't think you're throwing around 800 pounds. You think you're throwing around 500 pounds scout. It's just eating every curve up. It's dipping, it has the lean angle. The overall difference for me was the flexibility of the bike. Whether it's the throttle response, the startup when the engine is a lot smoother, the throttle when you hit it, it just engages without having a jerky feel. The LED fog lights on the bottom like that's super sick it just looks like a really modern bike feeling the breeze coming through the lowers that's something new to me as it was getting warmer and warmer throughout the day it actually kept me cool a performance bike but also it has all this extra storage that I could just carry everything that I need this is for people that enjoy the road this is a comfortable bike it's a flexible bike it's a responsive bike it takes away the challenges of being in your head too much when you're riding if you just want to experience the road and not have to be concerned about anything that's going on beneath you or behind you, this is the bike for you.